During the Reconstruction era following the American Civil War, four prominent business magnates played a significant role in shaping the United States economy and the society. John D. Rockefeller, Andrew Carnegie, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and J.P. Morgan. These industrialists were known for their innovative business practices, which transformed the nation's infrastructure and trade. Their influence is still felt today in modern-day America. I will explore how their contributions helped shape the country. John D. Rockefeller was born in 1839 in New York and started his career as a bookkeeper. He later founded Standard Oil, which became one of the most prominent corporations in American history. Rockefeller's contribution to the Reconstruction era can be seen in his innovative business practices, which helped shape America's economy. One of Rockefeller's most significant contributions was his role in the development of the oil industry. Since he founded Standard Oil, which became most, one of the most prominent corporations in American society, he was able to come up with vertical and horizontal integration. Vertical integration he was able to gain control over all aspects of oil production, from drilling to refining and distribution. Through horizontal integration, he was able to merge with other companies, increasing his market share and influence. By consolidating the oil industry, Rockefeller was able to lower costs and increase efficiency, which allowed him to offer oil at lower prices than his competitors. Rockefeller's business practices had a profound impact on Americans' infrastructure, The availability of affordable oil led to the development of the automobile industry and the construction of new highways. The use of oil in industrial production also facilitated the growth of other industries, such as rubber and plastics. In 1913, he founded the Rockefeller Foundation, which was dedicated to promoting public health, education, and scientific research. The foundation's efforts have had a lasting impact on America's society, and its work continues to this day. The Rockefeller Foundation also played a significant role in the development of international relations. During World War I, the foundation provided support for humanitarian aid efforts in Europe. After the war, the foundation continued to fund international aid programs, including efforts to combat disease and promote economic development in developing countries. John D. Rockefeller's contributions to early America have had a lasting impact on the nation's economy, infrastructure, and society. His innovative business practices transformed the oil industry and paved the way for the creation of modern corporations. Rockefeller's philanthropic efforts have had a lasting impact on American society, particularly in the areas of public health, education, and scientific research. The Rockefeller Foundation's work continues to this day and remains a testament to the impact of the Rockefeller efforts. Cornelius Vanderbilt was born into the young nation of America in 1794, New York. He started his career as a steamship operator and later expanded his business interests to include railroads and shipping, becoming one of the wealthiest men in America at the time. Vanderbilt's contributions to the Reconstruction era can be seen in his development of the railroad industry. Vanderbilt was known for his innovative approach to business, which included consolidating smaller railroads into larger ones. This strategy enabled him to gain control over the transportation network and increase his market share. Vanderbilt's contributions helped shape America's infrastructure and enabled the creation of a national transportation system across the United States. Vanderbilt's contribution to early America helped shape the nation's educational landscapes and provided opportunities for future generations. Andrew Carnegie was born in 1835 in Scotland and migrated to the United States in 1848. He began his career as a telegraph messenger and worked his way up to become one of the wealthiest men in America. Carnegie was known for his innovative approach to steel production, which transformed the nation's infrastructure. Carnegie's contributions to the Reconstruction era can be seen in his development of the Bessemer process, which allowed for the mass production of steel. This innovation transformed the construction industry and enabled the creation of large-scale infrastructure projects, such as railroads and skyscrapers. Carnegie, like Rockefeller, was also known for his philanthropic work. In 1901, he sold his steel company to J.P. Morgan for $480 million and devoted the rest of his life to giving away his fortune. He founded the Carnegie Corporation, which supported scientific research, education, and the arts. His contributions to early America helped shape the nation's cultural and educational landscape. Through his philanthropy, Carnegie 
was able to give away more than $350 million to charitable causes, including the founding of his Carnegie Mellon University and the Carnegie Foundation of the Advancement of Teaching. His philanthropy was set a new standard for giving among the wealthy, and his legacy of generosity continues to inspire others to give back today. He also supported libraries, which had a lasting impact on American education. He believed that access to books was key to prom promoting self-education and social progress. Between 1883 and 1929, he donated money to build more than 2,500 public libraries in the United States, many of which are still in use today. Through his steel in industry, he transformed the United States into a modern industrial nation. He was a pioneer in the use of the Bessemer process, which allowed large quantities of steel to be produced quickly and cheaply. His steel mills provided the raw materials for the construction of railroads, bridges, skyscrapers, and helped creating jobs and economic growth across the country. Car Carnegie's philosophy of business, which emphasized the importance of treating workers fairly and sharing the profits of the business with them, has had a lasting impact on corporate culture. Today, many companies recognize the importance of treating their employees well and giving back to the community as a way of building a successful and sustainable process. Andrew Carnegie helped American society today through his philanthropy, his support of education and libraries, his contributions to the steel industry, and his philosophy of business ethics. He played a major role in the expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century and then became one of the wealthiest men in the world. J.P. Morgan was born in 1837, Connecticut, and started his career as a banker. He later expanded his business interests to include investments and mergers, becoming one of the most powerful financiers in American history. Morgan's contributions to the construction era can be seen in his role as a financer and investor. Morgan was known for his innovative approach to finance, which included underwriting large-scale infrastructure projects, such as railroads and steel mills. His investments helped shape America's economy and enabled the creation of large-scale infrastructure projects. J.P. Morgan was an American financer and banker who played a major role in the development of the U.S. economy during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Some of his lasting impacts are the consolidation of industries. Morgan was a key figure in the consolidation of various industries such as railroad, steel, and electric power. Through his efforts, he helped to create some of the largest corporations in the world, including General Electric's and U.S. Steel. These corporations had a significant impact on the U.S. economy, creating jobs and driving economic growth. Through investment banking, Morgan already was widely recognized as the father of modern investment banking. He helped to establish the investment banking industry to the United States and introduced many of these practices that are still in use today. He was instrumental to the development of new financial instruments, such as stocks and bonds, which helped to fuel economic growth and provided business with the capital they needed to expand. Morgan played a key role in averting a major financial crisis during the Panic of 1907. He used his personal wealth to shore up the U.S. banking system and prevent a collapse of the financial markets. He literally pulled the United States out of debt. His actions helped to restore confidence in the United States economy and laid the groundwork for the creation of the Federal Reserve System. Morgan was also a major philanthropist. He donated large sums of money to support education, medical research, and the arts. He helped to establish the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City and donated generously to Harvard University. J.P. Morgan's lasting impact on the U.S. economy includes his role in the consolidation of industries, the development of investment banking, his efforts to prevent a financial crisis, and his philanthropic contributions to education and the arts. His legacy continues to be felt today in the financial industry and in the cultural constitutions that helped to he helped to establish. <laughs>